What is pulmonary hypertension? When you hear the term hypertension, most often you think of high blood pressure. Pulmonary hypertension, or PH, is a type of high blood pressure that affects the pulmonary arteries that carry blood from the heart to the lungs. High blood pressure, as you may know, puts a strain on your heart. PH specifically puts a strain on the right side of the heart. The right side of the heart, or right ventricle, has to work harder to pump against this high pressure. The high blood pressure in the lungs result from the arteries in the lungs that become narrowed and tough, making it difficult for blood to flow through them. Over time, the right ventricle will enlarge and weaken. It will lose its ability to pump enough blood through the lungs, leading to right heart failure. So what are the symptoms of pulmonary hypertension? As the condition gets worse, people experience fatigue and dizziness, fainting spells, swelling in the ankles, abdomen or legs, bluish lips, and skin. In the most advanced stages, it becomes difficult to do even minimal activity without having serious symptoms, including irregular heartbeat, racing pulse, passing out or dizziness, severe shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, even while resting. Pulmonary hypertension is pretty rare. It is more common in people between the ages of 20 to 60. Women are diagnosed twice as often as men. pH appears to start with an injury to the cells that line the small blood vessels of the lungs. In some cases, the cause of this injury are unknown. This is what is called idiopathic pulmonary hypertension. Some cases of pH are linked to the use of amphetamines, such as diet pills, connective tissue diseases, such as lupus, scleroderma, rheumatic disorders, liver disease, HIV, and other heart abnormalities. In addition, a history of blood clots in the lung, conditions that lead to low oxygen, including living at high altitudes, obesity, and sleep apnea, and a family history of pulmonary hypertension are all linked to pH. So how is pH diagnosed? Diagnosis begins with a complete medical history, physical exam, and an evaluation of your symptoms. It's important to find any underlying heart or lung conditions and get the correct diagnosis. These include blood work, heart tests, such as an echocardiogram, that's an ultrasound of the heart, an EKG, right-sided heart catheterization, chest x-ray, a CAT scan, a sleep study to test for sleep apnea, and pulmonary function tests to check for other lung diseases. pH is serious and requires proper diagnosis and treatment by a team that has experience in the underlying causes and the problems that people have dealing with pH. Watch our pulmonary hypertension treatment video to learn more.